I need a new computer. I want a new computer. Specifically, I want this one. The 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. But there's a problem, you see, I live in Finland. And if I was to order this here in Finland, I would have to wait until the 31st of May. And I'm a pretty impatient person. And I'm not about to wait until the 31st of May. So, I saw that the closest place where this MacBook Pro is in stock is in France. France. So I guess there's only one thing to do, right? Welcome to Paris. Okay, so if you think I'm absolutely crazy that I'm in Paris just to buy a laptop, you'd be absolutely right. By the way, did I mention that the laptop costs 3,849 euros? Yeah, so I'm in Paris just to pay 3,849 euros for a laptop. But had I bought it in Finland, not only would I have had to wait literally two months to get it, but if I buy it here, it's actually a hundred euros cheaper than it would be in Finland. And I got my flights to Paris for around 90 euros. So, in a way, I got a free trip to France if I'm buying it here. Obviously with this hotel and food and everything, it's still gonna be more expensive, but I'd rather pay a hundred euros for a flight than just paying more tax to buy the thing in Finland and having to wait. So yes, I am a bit crazy, but you must admit that these are some pretty Decent reasons. Okay, anyway, now the plan is to go eat some breakfast and then the laptop hunt will begin. I really hope that I'm actually gonna get it here now. Yeah, it will be pretty awkward if I don't actually manage to buy it here. Now. plan. So I'm staying around the north of Paris and the Apple store where I reserved my MacBook is not actually inside of Paris. It's in Versailles because that was the only Apple store where it was available in the whole of France. And I'm only here for the weekend. Today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday and on Sunday the store will be closed and on Monday I leave at like 6am so I wouldn't have time. So I really hope I make it. And by the way, if you're wondering why I need a new MacBook Pro, seeing as I've already got this M1 MacBook Air, I'm gonna explain that as well in, in a moment. I'm gonna try to get the laptop first, then, then we're gonna talk about it. It's gonna take me an hour and 41 minutes. That's quite a track. Let the hunt begin. my second metro to go to Versailles. I think I definitely have the wrong ticket, so I hope I don't get fined. Okay, I'm here much later than I should be, but I still somehow have a 56 minute walk to where I need to go. I didn't get fined though, so that's positive. I mean, I could have paid for a bus to get there in 30 minutes, but I'm not about to pay two euros for that. There's the guy who just spent 3,849 euros on a laptop. 
I'm all about getting a good deal. If something costs two euros, but it's a bad deal, I'm not gonna do it. But these new laptops with the M1 chips are such a great deal. Like people have been comparing this new 16 inch MacBook Pro, the M1 Max, to the old $40,000 maxed out Mac Pro. And it's been beating me. And now that this channel is growing so fast, I really need to have that power and that productivity to be able to make these videos and um, do my coding. But I'm gonna make a full video on really the why of why I'm spending 4,000 euros on a laptop. I'm in a parking place to figure out how to get out of here. Apple, 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 Apple. Found it. C'est pour le en retrait Ça marche. Ouais. Vous laissez à l'étage directement et sur la table de gauche. Ah, ah. Tout bout à gauche. Ok Bonjour. Bonjour. Really? I would have had to wait until June to get this. Equipment. You made the trip from Finland to France Ah voilà. Let's look at this. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye. We got it. We got it. Okay. It is time to unbox this thing. This thing will actually help my workflow so much. So much. So essentially, as I alluded to before, the reason why I wanted this was because up until now, I've been using my MacBook Air, this one, the M1 MacBook Air 2020 model, and a self-built desktop computer, which I was basically using for all my heavy tasks, like editing these videos, well, actually mainly editing these videos, and then for everything else, including all my programming stuff, I was doing on my laptop. But then it got to the point, especially when this channel started growing, it got to the point where I really wanted to have everything on one computer, specifically a laptop and specifically a MacBook, because I much prefer the Mac operating system. Without further ado, let's just uh, let's just unbox this thing. Whoa. Whoa. Basically, I'm not always at home where my PC computer sits. So whenever I was around and I still wanted to get these videos out, I would have to edit them on my MacBook. And for video editing that M1 MacBook, Air just really wasn't quite good. Like you could do it, but it wasn't quite. It wasn't quite there. And then some of my assets, like some of the B-roll that I use for my videos, I needed to have them in two computers, and like all of that, it just became really difficult. Ooh. There's our beast. And there's a bunch of other reasons as well. Like for example, I wanna switch to using Final Cut Pro rather than Premiere Pro to edit these videos because, well, first of all, Premiere Pro is a lot more expensive because it's a monthly subscription, like 50 pounds a month or something that I'm paying. And then, whereas the Final Cut Pro, which is only on Mac computers, is only a one-time payment of like, I think, 250 pounds or something. I know this isn't like the most cinematic unboxing you've ever seen. My my main computer for now and I do plan to sell my other ones entirely now. Well, this thing is massive. It's massive compared to my other Let's just compare. MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. But yeah, I'm gonna make a full video around my impressions of this computer and whether it actually has ended up being the workhorse that I want it to be in a couple of weeks from now. So if you want to see that, that video will be linked right up here once I've made it. First thing that I wanna do on my new computer is to build an app with it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow and that video will be linked up here. So if other of those interest you, watch one of these videos next.